Hello and welcome back to another video. <laughs> Nearly fell down the hill. Right, so we are back out in Liverpool and we are... It's in the car. So we're in a place called Sefton Park. Now, <sighs> Sefton Park, it bears no sort of relevance to this video other than we're going to show you something at the start. But there's a lane called Imberton's Lane. Imberton's Lane, I said it properly, yeah. And it's just sort of like... It's, it's an old lane. I can't find no history on it online. But... I've had a scout up and down it and I've found some really interesting things at the end. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off by going to, do you remember the Iron Bridge in Sefton Park? We had a stolen car smashed into it and ruined one of the corners about a year ago now. Well, I believe it's all been fixed now. It took its time, but it got there in the end and it's all been restored. So we're going to start the video off at the crash site. We're going to walk up Ibbotson's and i'm going to show you something really interesting at the top of ibbotton's lane as well there's a squirrel eating some bread yeah so without further ado let's crack on with today's video are we going up here uh, no we'll go that way are we going underneath go underneath to we'll show the uh <coughs> pardon me show the bridge that was all thing yield so the rats were here last time where <coughs> oh, i've got a bad throat I do apologize the rats were here so maybe we'll that noise some weird noises here isn't he so anyway here we are at the fairy glen it's not fairy but it's a glen it's a now, it is a bit minky now like so as i say we've covered this and we've covered the bridge in a previous video so we're not going to revisit old ground river jordan which flows through as well up or lower brook i can't really remember offhand now what one it is but yeah it's uh we've done videos on them in the past so there's no need to mention all that right how do we get out here the what actually we drone here last time because they've done the, 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 the um, palm house palm house yeah so is this the path here which for me yeah Huh? Yeah, we'll start off with this first. Oh, be fair, I know. Yeah. Right now, don't so as you can see, fully restored. And when the car smashed into it, I think it took well it lay smashed for for this here. Paul O'Grady. I don't know what that's gotta do with the uh, the bridge. So you have to put new railings in. They've fixed all this up uh, to put the whatever it was back on top as well. I think that that looks new. That they might have painted it. I don't know, but yeah, it's all been all been restored back to what it was. Yep. I don't know if it's new brick or it looks like it's new brick. Yeah, it's definitely new brick, that. I think they just used new brick, Eric. It's, it's all new, the, the brick's new. Yeah, so that one is... That's still old, that one. Um, yeah, and then that one's being painted, so... As you can see there, that's being painted. But, I've done a video on that in the past. So, today's video is focusing on Ibbotson's Lane. As you can see, just down there under the bridge, that's where the River Jordan that runs underneath Egberth and Otterspool. That's one of the brooks. So, without further ado, let's get on up Ibbotson's Lane. Right, so Ibbotson's Lane starts basically at the bridge. Here we go, L17, Ibbotton's Lane. Some uh, old iron work there. And we'll get a little bit more onto that later on. Quite interesting what I found at the top here. I thought it was, but I don't think it is, to be honest with you. No, I think it's just getting refurbed. This is the one that turns into the, into the little narrow path. This is the one that turns into 
goes up to uh, Derby Halls, doesn't it? So it doesn't look much really at the moment. Just your general run of the mill street. So, but I say it does change and it does get a little bit interesting, should we say? So, uh, which? Is it? Looks like, yeah. No, that's the uni. Oh, you mean the back of Derby Halls? Do you know what I never thought of that? There, you can see the new buildings. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, We've got no chance of getting in there, have we? Where? Derby Halls. I should have, you, I could have done it last year. My nephew was in there. Oh. Sick, weren't I? Fucked it all right. That year was lost. Skip diving. Yeah. Get yourself a new, you just got yourself a new kitchen, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, there's a cooker there as well. Yeah, it's just like, it's Oh, yeah. Stuff is that Derby Halls as well? Oh. It's massive, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. Wow. Didn't you realise it was that big? No. Yeah, Liverpool University private property. That's weird, isn't it? So, so, apparently each building holds a thousand students. I didn't honestly didn't think it was that big. That's what he was saying, that there's less students than he isn't. Yeah. It's just like they're all walking out of Smith down and all that. Oh yeah, on, on the buses. Yeah. yeah. Smith gets rammed now with the buses and all that. Oh, this is the path here. Yeah. That's, cool. that's nice, isn't it, in there? Yeah, Ashbury Brook. I, I don't think that's the real name for that brook. <coughs> oh, yeah. What's that? Oh. What is it? I don't, whatever it is, mate, it's, uh, it's, just, it's abandoned. It's like a part of Derby Halls. No, because that would be, let's see, no, because that, that house was like further on that way, so, look at it though, it's, yeah, look at that. It's a big house. Right, okay, so we're at the point now where Iberton's Lane seems to veer off and go towards, what's that road called down there? That's Queen's Drive, isn't it? Queen's Drive. And here we go up to Derby Halls. I have to, um, I have to Google that. I think it's just someone's house that's just left. I'll have a little look. I haven't got any house exploring stuff on me, if that makes sense. Uh, so to the right, we've got, is it Liverpool College? Liverpool College, yeah. It's a school. It's a school. It's like a prep school, no matter what like. And then to the left here, we have Derby Halls. Don't shine your camera over that way, mate, so that'll help. Well, they'll be allowed to film on a public path. So, so you're not allowed to film it. I well, mean, in fact, I have a comment here, so you just we're not filming. It. We've got no need to film in the school anyway, so that's yeah, that's boss in there. I remember years ago you could just walk into Derby Halls, and um, we did get followed by security, like, but we just said, you know, we're just doing a little bit of filming photography, yeah. so yeah, it's nice, isn't it? But nowadays there's a big security gate up, isn't it, and all that, like, so yeah, oh yeah, that's so, to be fair, so it should be. I know. You pay a lot of money to live yeah. there, you know. Yeah, it hasn't changed, hasn't it? What is he, all these basketball things new as well? Don't well, remember them. They're all, didn't he? These buildings, the original. The yeah, original they're all original. There. But I remember all the old buildings. You knocked them down. What's this sign here? Is this another path? Or is it for the school? Oh that's no. That's for the school. That's for the school. That's for the school, yeah. There's some iron gates to the right, we're not gonna not gonna film there because there's some kiddies playing in the air. Uh, in the playground. Just a little look back down Ibbotons. So what was the purpose of this lane anyway? I don't know, I've I've Googled it extensively. And for the life of me, I cannot find anything. Oh, that is CPO marker. You have to Google that. It's that telephone. No, it's it's there's different markers. 
there's one at the top which I'll show you in a minute which I've probably showed you anyway haven't I yes, yeah, yeah. and uh, but obviously the, the viewers haven't seen it so I'll, um, I'll delete that part and just sort of park outside every night. No, I don't. Yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> you know nothing about me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, pretty much. Is that an old trailer? No, Griffiths trailers. It's old. It's old. No, it's not that old. There's a revamp to all these as well. These have all had it. Yeah, I've noticed that. <laughs> So we're coming towards the end now and it does get a little bit interesting from here on um, so we've got graffiti always nice to have a little bit of graffiti wherever you go what's that there looks like an old barrier yeah presumably to stop cars coming down non hey, look at this here what's this say non non prince andrew maybe someone was saying nonce that's a watcher up here and i was all freaking kids about yeah, private jets i was gonna say then as well um they should put a barrier up to stop cars coming in but they have done, yeah. I've just seen that there and I thought. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get to the top here and then the camera goes off. Because it looks like the skewer is letting out. Is it letting out? Yeah, so we'll do this here. Is it letting out, do you think, or is it? I don't know, but. And then it goes off here. Right, so we're at the top now. We're going to uh, just stop filming for a little bit. The what? Right, we're just at the top of Ibbotons Lane and I'll show you a couple National of Museum. interesting things. Sorry, mate, I'll be back now. I've got to film this quick because we're right opposite a bloody school. So, the first thing I want to show you is this marker point here. Now, on the marker point, it says TP. That stands for Toxted Park. When Toxted Park was a thing, they used to put various markers out and stuff like that. So uh, that's the first interesting little thing I've come across. Now, this is Derby Halls right in front of me. And you'll see these iron railings here. Now, there just seems to be iron railings, but on closer inspection, you can see something inscribed on them. And it is... It's Francis Morton Garston. Now, it's an iron mongers in Garston, which is no longer there. I think it went out of business in 1992 so there's only a few posts with uh, with this with the stamped on it there's, there's about four or five just along here I've had a little scout all right yeah so it only goes about here and the rest of the railings haven't got them on so that's a pretty cool find so that's Francis Morton yeah, iron mongers in there. Is it iron mongers or mongers? Mongers, iron mongers, mongers in Garston. So. The, the, in 1880, the Windsor took the Morton took over the Windsor Ironworks in Garston. So. So we'll make our way back down Ibbotons Lane, and as we do, I'll just give you a little voiceover on a bit of history on uh, Morton's iron mongers. Right. So I'm going to read this straight off the Maritime Museum website. No background music. No sort of bit of a posh voiceover this is raw as you're going to get so anyway the information on uh, francis morton and company limited iron merchants and it's not iron mongers it's mongers so me and eric are to blame there we do apologize anyway the company dates from 1766 when john morton established a chandelier's business in cable street liverpool by 1847, the firm was trading as the galvanized iron merchants and run by francis and henry morton in 1858, Henry retired, Francis carried on alone and opened offices at 27 James Street and acquired work premises in Bevington Bush and in 1863, additional works at Marybone. So between 1863 and 1870, 
Francis Morton died and to provide funds, the business was formed into the Limited Liability Company under the new Act of 1861, becoming one of the first firms in Liverpool to do so be formed. The company prospered and built a new works in Naylor Street, but by 1880, there was again a need to look for new premises. So in 1880, Morton's took over the Windsor Iron Works in Garston, run by Colonel Hamilton. The premises were ideal and Morton's expanded, increased production and won orders from all over the world for their fences, gates, iron schools, churches and railway buildings. One of the first contracts, now I've only just found this out today and this was quite a, quite a nice find. So one of the first contracts at the new site was for main girders of the overhead railway, which are, some of them are still there to this day on the dock road. So work on which started in 1889, by now they had offices in London, Sheffield and Glasgow. So in a nutshell, that is the brief history of uh, Francis Morton and Company Iron Merchants uh, from Garston. So yeah, Hello, doggy. These I don't know about I don't know about these ones, but these don't seem to be stamped with anything. It's only up there that, also, that it's. Two postcards, yeah. They are cards and scissors, let's be careful. Huge artwork. See Italia and Jason. So these are pretty far. far it's no longer in business, like so. Oh, yeah, well, well done, man. 1992. I wonder how long them rails have been there for now. These have probably been here, probably 30 years, 40 years, right? Pre date 1992, like, because these buildings here are all old. So, and these look old, they don't look new. So, I'm assuming that they're, um, that they're old, 30, 40 years, yeah. Let's see if I've got any sound. Yeah, my sound is going up and down. Oh, is it? My road. <laughs> Your road. <laughs> If they don't think, yo, know, if they don't, um, you know, what you call it, conflict would be sound. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that'll be a test in a minute to see if the. Uh, we'll just. Um, they may off. May off. No, you need to do them in the app, I think. Yeah. So if you're wondering what we're on about, we both have the same microphones. There's Eric's here. Let's have a little look at your microphone. Where is it? So we've got the new Rode wireless Mies and uh, we've both got them on. So we were kind of hoping that um, they weren't going to conflict and sort of like, Turn into professionals now. you know, yeah, we are, but we're, 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 we're professional vloggers now, aren't we? Professional YouTubers. <laughs> Apart from being called other things, yeah. you know. And I don't know what an anchor is. No, I don't I really know. What, don't know what I don't know what an anchor is. <laughs> no, never seen that one before. Oh, do you make batteries, don't you, Anker? Anker? Someone said, yeah, Anker. I thought, oh, did me, have I dropped my battery? <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to take a left in a minute and we're going to go down this little small public footpath that takes us on to Queen's Drive. Right, yeah, the tail end of Queen's Drive. Eric knows more than me. I don't, uh, I don't know much about these parts. Like, Perfection. Apparently, Eric comes down here dogging, but I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Just at the end of the bridge. <laughs> Allegedly, anyway, he's been seen in the past. Yeah. Little fella. You must have something about my little fella going dogging. <laughs> little fella with his William and someone's windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> you look Prince Andrew and put the blue balls on the window. <laughs> have you seen that on South Park? Prince William, sorry, uh, Prince Harry. South Parkway. South Park. South Park. South, South Parkway, did you say South then? South Park, yeah. South Parkway. Park. South Park. There's a coincidence. We've been to South Parkway. I know, South, yeah. If you watch South Park, we uh, take the piss out of Harry and Megan. Yeah, so we're filming this video anyway on the back of doing South Parkway. So. Oh, no, no, no. It's here, past this house. Oh, okay. So here's this private house. As you can see, there's more graffiti on the uh, on the back wall. I reckon. I'll never through that fence and have a look at that house. We'll have a look anyway. Where's a hole? There's a goal. Could be one for a future video on that, mate. Which? There's a... Uh, Mo Salad. Right, so we're going to take a left down this little short path off Ibberton's Lane. Someone's had an, uh, what do you call them things from KFC? 
Oh, what are they called? Whatever. It's got ice in them, they're dead nice. I do like a little... Yeah. No, it's only it's only a short little path, but I like weird little paths like this. I know it sounds a bit weird, but I just like little sort of public footpaths that take you through basically just well nowhere. Stuff if that makes sense. So tell me you like something weird. The what? I don't know if you're wrong with this, mind you, leads right up to that road there. Nah, it's Queen's, Queen's Drive, innit? So we're going to walk back, aren't we, and then check this thingy about. Yeah. There's the, uh, there's the sign for the public footpath. Potential oh yeah, you are now entering Toxteth Royal Park. Don't, interf don't interfere with the deer. Deer it's weird, isn't it? I don't think there is, to be honest with you. This is Queen's Drive, anyway. Goes up towards... Penny Lane and the likes of that, Allerton Road. And we're just going to take a little wumble back down and we're going to check out this little abandoned house as well. Actually, uh, now I've got more time on my hands now. I actually uh, started looking at uh, the boot that you made, the underground tunnels. Oh, you read that, yeah? No, I started looking at it yesterday. Oh, it's dead interesting, mate, honestly. So um, I'd like to, uh, there's a fella there with the two tunnels, it looks like. Um, you know, when we, no, no, the tunnels we did where we were underground, we've done the, the Jordan River. Oh, yeah. And the way the tunnels were bricked. Is this it? Like, <laughs> like so. Anyone lost a photograph? It's uh, it's there. <laughs> yeah, and it, it, like, it like splits off into two, but the fellas in the arch of one of them. Nice. Like pointing it, repointing the Oh, it's, uh, you know what that is? I'd like to go to that and recreate that picture. That is the drains underneath Ullet Road. Well, I'd like to recreate that picture. Yeah, it's it. it's apparently dead tight as well, isn't it? What do they call them things from KFC? With the ice in them? Uh, no, the other thing at a Costa. Um, oh, fucking hell. You know what? Why does your mind go blank when you want to... Anyway, yeah. There's nothing in there to begin with. I can't be asked. Google it yourself and have a look. <laughs> now, we're going to check out this old house as well. There's an old house. That is a... Uh, looks pretty abandoned. It's all oh, yeah. Oops. Oops. I want to watch this. It actually doesn't belong to anyone and no one's living here. Well, it's been graffitied. I don't know. Yeah, it's graffiti on that house house. Oh. We have a look here? We'll have a little look. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Righty-ho, what have we got here? Wowza. We have an old abandoned house. Is that a bear feeder or a sundial or something? What's a bear bath? Ah, isn't that lovely? How's that? Shopping venture. We'll have a little look, I think, by the looks of it. It's all boarded up, mate. Just trying to get the bearings of where we are. Don't tell anyone. Not telling anyone. This will be on the video, like. <laughs> Yeah, it just looks like a drive. Yeah. Maybe it links to the other one down there. Big and massive. What's this here?
Oh yeah, that's that gate from before. That was Pamela that gate. Was it? Yeah, that had a lot of Big Magdalene going up there. How was that? The camera on when we past it. Did it? Yeah, I'll show you it when we go Let's back. Let's have a look. I think. I think have a little look at the side first while we're in. We're in now. We may as well. Does it, eh? It goes right the way back there, isn't it? Well. That is a lovely building. Shame. I know, yeah. In a place like this as well. It's worth a lot of money, isn't it? Wow. <coughs> Let's have to watch these as well. It's got to be worth a lot of money, man. These houses over here. I mean, the grounds of it as well is, is bloody, is massive as well. Backs onto Derby Do you know what? It could possibly be the universities. Yeah. Could be. But it's fenced off here from the uni. It could have been an old building mate from the university. Danger keep out. Yeah, that's not a house that that's that's old uni stuff that. It's got to be. How is it? Oh yeah. Wow. Think it was past the uni. That's the uni. That's gotta be. It's got to be, hasn't it? Hence why it's left like that. They've probably gone out. Oh, we don't want it no more. Admin. Yeah, the possibly. Uni. And the, when they've revamped it all, they've gone. I mean, it's there's a bit of traffic, like there's all graffiti everywhere, isn't that like? Locked. Yeah, of course. Are we walking around that way or are we going to go back? Walk back around that way and then back through the thing. But this looks like it's the driveway. But there was, a, there was definitely a camera on my gate when I walked past the Are you sure? Yeah, sure I do. Too quiet this, I'm expecting someone to jump around the corner with a fucking chainsaw or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uni grounds. That's uni grounds. And this in the middle is just left. Let's see what we've got in here. Well this takes us around the front, doesn't it? Building. I bet you there's some some decent stuff in there, mate. That's a Google. Yeah, I think I think they'd be an admin or something. But do you remember before that we were saying, oh, I wonder if that's abandoned. This is before we even seen this place. Yeah. Well, that was cool. What's the I don't even know what it is. What's the yeah, because we're nosy bastards, mate. We all know what it is, don't we? Cool. Oh yeah, a little uh, Pretty recent, that. You think? Yeah. I Maybe it was open when we... That'd be old, when, when the old university and... Uh, when they'd done the revamp. And it's just, they just closed it and left it. Because let's face it, if it was someone's house, like if it was, if it was a house as such, it wouldn't be left in that state. Look at the area where it's in. You know, you don't leave something that, that grand to, to go to Rack and Ruin in a place like this. When you're paying X amount for your, for your flats and houses over there, and you've got that. Possibly, yeah. I hope you do, I don't know how to do that, it's a lot of 
Right, so out we go. Oops, Alex just wrecked the fence. Oh. <laughs> Fuck caught on a freaking branch then. Yeah. And he went for a tumble bumble. Was that 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 was that gate before what that said? That wasn't it wasn't it wasn't it the gate that said um uni property on and stuff like that? Yeah. That was so that's that. That's that that belongs to the unit first thing. Yeah. Oh no, with the gate further up at the camera on. So this was the one we've seen before. Ah, so yeah. That's that's yeah. Number one, Ibbotons Lane, flats one to four. I wonder if they were flats at one point. Oh well, that concludes that one then. Students accommodation. Yeah, possibly. And there's the gates for... Yeah. Mm. By the way, it's all locked up. It doesn't get yeah. <laughs> Pity it was locked up because something like that, it's neither going to be emptied or it's going to have any stuff left in it. Do you know what, mate? Six months we'll have another look. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Come back to that one. So that, my friends, was a look up Ibberton's Lane and the mysterious, well, not mysterious house, the um, very old mansion-like house on the grounds of Derby Halls. Yeah. Just before we leave Ibberton's Lane, a cool little feature on the ironwork of whatever this is, some sort of power box or something. Looks like a live bird and someone there. That crest. What's that crest say? That's what his name is, isn't it? Um, Someone will know. If you know what this is, uh, is it, please leave a comment below. Yeah. That's interesting. Triton. Oh, I don't King know. Triton of the Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened here? Another car rolled into one of these, I wonder. Yeah. It's Looks like, doesn't it? I'll be there left for another couple of years, no doubt. Well, let's take a little walk over this bridge, you know, we've, uh, we've showed it off in the past in previous videos, but I'm going to go to the car, going to get um, a little drink, and we're going to go and see if we can uh, find any rats in Sefton Park, because last time we were here, it was friggin' streaming with rats. But yeah, here we go across the newly refurbished Iron Bridge, and just for the record, once again, Here's one of the brooks that forms the River Jordan, which I have done a video on in the past. By all means, go and check that out. Rather interesting. Here's the other two thing was there on the end. Still all original. The other two um, lights at the end of the bridge. It's coming out now to the bottom of Queen's Drive. What's the fact that I was seeing the dog before? Going towards Sefton Park. Oh, he's, he parked next to me car. Yeah. But it was like a bit wonky and I got out and he went, it's all, it's all right for you. So, do you need me to move it? And I was like, nah, it's all right. Don't worry about it. It's gone now, I think. Okay, so we're back at the Ferdy Glen and we're going to end this video today. That was a little walk up and down Ibberton's Lane and a very surprised find of the house as well. Pity it was there all sealed and closed but we assume it's part of or was part of Derby Halls and um, say we're back to Ferdy Glen and there's quite a lot of these really savage sort of thing was hanging around I don't know if uh, Paul O'Grady had something to do with Sefton Park but uh, it's a bit weird the way they're all dotted around I don't know I think so Fairy door, isn't it? Hello. Yeah, so anyway, as always, cheers for watching. And um, I'd like to just thank Dawn McGee for a donation this month, a coffee donation. Thank you very much. Uh, all goes into the channel and uh, well, back into the channel and stuff like that, and gets me and this little fella some some hot drinks while we're out. Do we? Does it? <laughs> um, it you, does. You lying bastard! <laughs> Shit, run! <laughs> caught me out. Anyway, see you in the next video.